The Mars Desert Research Station is a facility where we can simulate Martian life for a couple of weeks and living as if we were astronauts on Mars. The mission 202 will be our second year as an old Purdue crew. Last year we were called Boilers to Mars and this year we are Martian makers. What we are doing will help future missions to Mars, will help bring humans to Mars, so we are actually being people that are making Martians. I was always interested in going to the Mars Desert Research Station because I know very little about chemistry on Mars or in space in general. It's not something that's ever been covered in my classes. That kind of intrigued me and I kind of wanted to know more about chemistry and how it works in a different environment. We got a few differences from last year. We got more departments from Purdue represented. We have a crew of three women and three men, so it's very well balanced. And we're actually having some of the research projects will complete what we started last year, uh, we have a biological study of how the bacteria we bring in the habitat propagate to our plants that we are cultivating. But we also have completely new studies on what we do with our waste or how the radiations can affect us in, in the environment. So we got a lot of new exciting experiences that we'll have and we'll do a lot of astronomy. I'm looking forward just to the simulation environment. It's something that I've never done before. Um, it's a very new experience and just the research is all brand new. So I think just the adventure of it. I went there and expected to always keep in the back of my mind, this is a simulation, so it's okay. But then when we actually closed the hatch and we were in the habitat, it felt so much different. Whenever other people went in excursion, I was in the habitat behind the window and I know that in simulation, I couldn't go outside because I wasn't wearing my flight suit. So this touches a lot on the psychological and social aspects of that. I wanted to prove myself last year and see, can I survive for two weeks with six other people in a small habitat? We've been told there's been crews that had fist fights. We've, there's been crews that just people stormed out of the environment. We had to figure out ways to keep everybody cool in case something happens. And we had a lot of fun. We even created a new game, like we created a card game. Now we are all close friends and it was a great experience.